But we are moving on. And what are we moving on to? One of my absolute favourites, and it is... It's Princess Cruises. I know. It's the mm. love boat. It's the love Especially boat. The it's Hayley. the Caribbean princess. Should we have yeah. a little look at it? <laughs> I like the way you shimmying. moved there. We're shimmying, we're shimmying. Yeah, okay, yeah, the Caribbean Princess, an amazing ship. Um, of course, Ca uh, Princess Cruises, as you know, Haley, American cruise company that ship. really pride themselves on beautiful big ships, on giving mm. you lots of variety, giving you great entertainment. You know, you'll be walking along and suddenly a street entertainer will suddenly start juggling like you that, saw yes, there, yeah. you know. And particularly the Piazza, because all their ships are built around the central area of the Piazza, and you have chances to sit and have tapas and wine in some like vines just as you yes, look down you on what's see, going see on. It all. Maybe sit down at the chef's table, as you saw there, and, and you know, just 12 of you, and you have the, the meal cooked for you, and you get the copy of the menu, and you get taken through it step by step. Wonderful. The great uh, movies under the stars, as you see there, Ooh, where they show wow. huge concerts and films every night, and you can have uh, free popcorn and, and snuggle up with a loved one, or if it's just me, snuggle up with your cocktail. <laughs> and uh, then, of course, so much to see and do on, on board the ship beyond that. Great guest speakers, great entertainment, West End style shows, comedians. They're a fantastic company. Um, and the, the quality as well of the staterooms and the different variety of different places you can get, whether you want to go for a balcony stateroom or inside, is wonderful. And as we keep on saying, it's all about the service. It's all about the little extras that they provide. It's all about those smiles, the fact that your cabins, you'll get two, two dress downs a day, or two turn downs, which is what I normally get. Um, and, <laughs> and, it's, and it's a great opportunity for you just to get stuck in. Um, the, Ca the Caribbean Princess was in dry dock in 2011, and so it's, it's been completely, completely refreshed. It's a beautiful, beautiful ship. And again, as you walk around, you'll get this sense of luxury that you, that you always do with, you know, with these beautiful big cruise ships. Um, and just under 3,000 passengers, so great chance for you to enjoy um, a wonderful the environment where you'll make per lots of perfect friends. Perfect size, really. You will absolutely adore the ship, and you will adore where you're going. You will. Well. And like we said, we saw there, a lot of these ships as well have disabled access as well. So if you oh, are, you know, if you are someone who, who needs, you know, uh, maybe wheelchair access or different things like that, the ships will make provisions for you. Chat when you phone up, speak to our team. They'll find out all the details for you. Don't think that uh, just because you have a, a disability or, or maybe you know uh, travel in a wheelchair or, or, or in a mobility scooter that you can't cruise because you can. So do just jump on the phones. They are so, so helpful. Now, mm. where are we going? It is a no-fly. It is a no-fly. Tell us where we're going. Okay. This is going to be beautiful. This is fantastic. So you're heading out from Southampton. Your first port of call is Zeebrugge. And this is your chance to head into Belgium. It is the gateway to Brussels if you want to go there. Um, the home of NATO and much, much more bureaucracy uh, and straight bananas. However, I recommend um, either going to the, the, the fields of, of Yips or, or through to the Flanders fields or heading into the place it's really famous for Bruges, which is this wonderful mixture of beautiful old canals, ancient historic buildings. Um, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and you can literally drift along, just soaking it all up, feeling like you're, you've almost stepped back in time. Mm. And you've got loads of great uh, 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 museums here. The Diamond Museum is one you probably like. Yes, definitely. Um, I'm sure I'll get some of 50 quid there. Um, <laughs> and also Choco Story, where you can find out about chocolate's origins. Because, of course, Belgium's famous for its beers and its chocolate. And you can learn all about that. And also it's famous for inventing chips. Really? So you can go to the Frick Museum, and I recommend that. Find out about the history of Frick. Chips. That's interesting. Right. Relaxing day at sea before we then go through to Denmark, Copenhagen. This is incredible. You've got an overnight here, Brilliant. and that's great because here uh, it's people rather than cars that set the pace. It's a city of spires, um, it's the Venice of the North. It's beautiful, it's open. You've got to try, um, you know, you've got to try some of the da Danish pastries here or the open face Smuldersburg sandwiches. As you walk around, um, you will just be absolutely fall in love with this area. I recommend maybe doing a bit of shopping down Struge, the world famous Struge, one of the longest uh, shopping arcades in the world. Maybe going through the paths of Tivoli Gardens, one of the world's oldest leisure parks. There's loads of great forests and, uh, and palaces to explore, like Fliedensburg Castle, you saw images of there. Or you can head out to Hamlet's Castle, Kronberg, and do that kind of procrastination to, to be or not to be, you know, if you <laughs> like a bit of Shakespeare, a bit of the Bard. And again, Copenhagen also is home to Nighthaven, where Hans Christian Andersen uh, grew up. Uh, the 18th century kind of boulevard there with beautiful old buildings and a gorgeous little harbour. That's where I got my first tattoo. Uh, and as you can see, for Princess, we are the number one agent again. Which th this is the third one so I so know, far on the cruises that you've more, been the number more. one agent for now. So w we've got an overboard night on board there, yeah. and then w where do we Oslo. move on to? So we're now to Norway. So third different country. We've gone, we've gone to Belgium. We've gone to Denmark. Now we're to all uh, to Oslo, which is 
uh, Norway. Forest clad slopes plunging into these icy, beautiful, clear fjords. Um, the actual sailing's incredible. Make sure you're out on deck for a couple of hours before you arrive and as you sail back. You're going to dock here by Akershul's Castle. The views from the gardens there are well worth climbing up to see. Views right down the fjord, back into the city. You've got the opera house in, in the whole kind of area, this huge kind of harbour open area. You can head out to the Village and Sculpture Park, which is really good if you want to spend half a day out, slightly out of town. Mm -hmm. um, I recommend going through to the Nobel Peace Prize Museum, uh, seeing the history of that wonderful, that wonderful, uh, the achievements that have been uh, uh, achieved all to do with the Nobel Prize and then you've got a chance to maybe take the ferries out and just explore uh, Oslo in more detail or head through and see some of the, the best preserved oldest Viking ships in the world as well. This is incredible, huge savings, you've got a relaxing day at sea, then you sail back to Southampton. Have a look at what's included. Now remember, you can actually stay at the Mion Valley, at the Marriott, and that will give you the nice accommodation and you will get free parking as well and you'll get your transfers to the actual airport. You have got incredible onboard spends, up to $625 which is amazing. You've got the family of four, which is a really good price, and you get $555 on board spend with that family booking on the as well. Which is which is crazy. Yes, a balcony isn't it? room. That's really great. And that's great because you've got some lovely sailings on this cruise, particularly in uh, Copenhagen and Oslo. Really and then great. remember the ID, 78441. So jot that down, £699 per person. That's crazy. So £100 per person per night. Now, earlier on, you were saying about quality and uh, you know if it's assured. That's right, yeah. Um, when you book with us, you know, you can rest assured because uh, everything's Atoll and Abtoll bonded, so your money is safe. We provide all your overseas transfers. Right. We only use quality hand-picked hotels Fabulous. in central locations. And the flights that we use, they're all with renowned airlines. So again, we take care of everything. So whatever cruise you book, you can be assured that it is all quality assured as well.